So, how do you first show off what your new indie studio can do? Dave Gilbert came to a similar answer as many other indie developers. Have a personal narrative. Will O'Neill made actual sunlight detailing his battle with depression on how close he was to attempting suicide. Christine Love's first commercial release, Analog A Hate Story, dealt heavily with a confused queer teen girl dealing with a society that doesn't accept her and finally finding some sort of happiness despite. Vagabond Dogs Justin Amir Kahani and Jake Reardon used their experiences of being homeless to craft a game that dealt with heavily with uh, economic depression and always sometimes monsters, a major personal favorite of mine. Before all of them, Dave Gilbert decided to make a game that was both a pulp mystery story, one of his favorite subjects, and a tale of a Jewish man dealing with what it means to be Jewish way back in 2006. The Shiva was released shortly after it was originally completed for a contest, and is one of the studio's shortest releases, beatable in an hour if you know what you're doing. It also packs a surprising punch, showing some more philosophical depth than what would be seen in later works from the studio. It follows Russell Stone, a conservative rabbi with a lacking clergy, leaving due to his depressing lectures. As he's at his lowest, a detective arrives and informs him that he has inherited thousands of dollars from a recently murdered man. That man was Jack Lauder, someone Stone cast out of his flock for marrying someone of another faith, leaving him greatly confused and well aware that he's being eyed as the most likely suspect for this murder. He decides to make a Shiva call, or a morning call, to Jack's widow and try and figure out who killed him, partly to clear his name and partly to do right by the man he hurt so long ago. I should mention I'm not playing the original version, but the kosher update, which has completely revamped graphics, sound, and voice acting. I'm also fairly sure the game has an improved control scheme now since when I first tried to play it, I distinctly remember scum-like setup that's now absent and replaced with a more simplified uh, right and left click system you usually see from their work today. However, the content of the game remains basically the same as the old version. The really interesting bits of the game come from how it uses Jewish culture, with Dave Gilbert having insight from being Jewish himself. However, he's not devout, so he gets a few details wrong relating to Jewish law, especially since two of the uh, rabbis in this game are conservative and thereby hinted to be orthodox. The game takes place on a Friday night, which is a part of the Jewish Sabbath, which is from Friday night to Saturday night, when it is forbidden to do certain activities that Stone performs throughout the game, mainly using electronics to gather information and travel. These are minor details in the grand scheme of things though, especially because the game is less about showing an example of a regular Jewish day in the life, and more about dealing with a crisis of faith, both in God and in the self. The murder mystery that drives the story isn't particularly interesting, and the reveal who's behind it is fairly humdrum. However, it's also not the real focus. This is entirely a character piece, complete with unusual for this company first-person narration and impressive prose. Stone is a thoughtful protagonist with a very interesting conflict, torn between his duty to keep his people going and desire to do good that does not fit into the strict laws he has to follow. The game doesn't decide if Stone is right or wrong to cast Lauder out, even with Lauder understanding why he was cast out before he died and accepting it, but it also shows the tragic aftermath of the decision. What do you do when your understanding of what is good and right is strained, and can you even have faith in this world with such pain and misery existing in it, going against what you think should be the will of God? The game has multiple endings relating to what you do to the villains, with the only truly good ending requiring mercy for both of them, choosing not to create more bad in the world. This ending also closes with a powerful sermon that reflects my own morals that I found surprising. Stone tries to answer the question of why God allows bad things to happen by arguing it is us who are responsible, not God. We are connected people and our actions echo out to others, affecting the world in ways we can't begin to imagine. Thus, our responsibility is to put good in the world, not bad. Though we may never know the truth that we all desire so much, we can find meaning in simply doing good for others and that might be enough in the end. There are shades of nihilist thought in this conclusion divorced from the more toxic, selfish tenets of the 
ideology, fitting well into the religious viewpoint by arguing for the importance of each other over our own ones. In this, Stone becomes the exact opposite of the true villain, a true man of God. While the game doesn't find answers to the religious political arguments brought up, the conclusion alone leaves a strong enough message, especially for a game this short. There's also some pretty interesting mechanical touches here, as you're allowed to converse with people like a rabbi, asking questions that poke and prod at them, making them think and react differently to you. It frustrates people, but it can be useful, absolutely necessary to survive both confrontations in the last few minutes of the game. It's a cute cultural touch that allows for both characterizing some to cast through their reactions and a way to show Stone's aggressive but curious personality. The Shiva definitely stands out as a strong first game despite its short length, and it's good to see that Wajidai was able to do fantastic work this early on. The pattern will continue with the next two games, both a part of Wajidai's signature ghost mystery series Blackwell. However, I honestly feel like the Shiva might outshine both in its current completed form. As for the other three, we'll get there in due time.